A Taliban faction claims responsibility for a devastating terror attack in, Palestine, in Pakistan that targeted Christians enjoying the Easter weekend. The suicide bombing Sunday killed 70 people and wounded at least 300 others. Many of the victims are women and children. The attack took place in a park filled with families in the eastern city of Lahore. Elizabeth Palmer is in London with the latest developments. Elizabeth, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. Uh, Lahore is one of Pakistan's most sophisticated and liberal cities, so really it's another planet from the poor rural areas under the control of extremists. In the confusion, ambulances loaded up the injured while desperate parents searched for lost children, hoping they wouldn't find them among the dead. Only hours before, this had been a crowded amusement park. The bomber wanted to kill the Christians in the crowd, celebrating Easter. Afzal was at the scene. I carried 20 children to be taken to the hospital, he said, and I moved three bodies to the police cars. When the bomb went off, the children were on rides in the fairground. At the hospital, though, it was clear that the victims included both Muslims and Christians. Families watched over young survivors. They were the lucky ones. Professor Mahmoud Shaukat. We received a total of 137 patients, and uh, 36 were received dead, and uh, the rest, uh, about 60 of them, have been sent home. Today, as the funerals get underway, Christians across Pakistan will be watching. Already a minority, this attack makes it clear they face violence aimed at them specifically because of their faith, and it adds fear to the grief. At the fairground, police have begun their investigation, but the basics are already known. Jamaat ul Ahrar, a breakaway Taliban faction, has already claimed responsibility for this atrocity. And not only that, the group is already warning it's planning more of the same. Now, this morning, Pakistan announced that they are setting up a special paramilitary crackdown across the whole region around Lahore.